Welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today's beer is going to be another Imperial Stout. Uh, it's going to be the Hoppin' Frog Doris the Destroyer Double Oatmeal Russian Imperial Stout. Uh, I've reviewed one other Hoppin' Frog beer, which is Boris the Crusher, which is also an Imperial Stout, which is, this is like the double version of that. And that one was just fantastic, that just blew my mind. But I've also had one other uh, Hoppin' Frog beer, which is the uh, uh, Mean Manalishi Double IPA, which was the first double IPA I ever had. And um, if I get the chance to try it again, I might review it for you guys, because uh, it's pretty good as far as I recall. But uh, I got some intro here from, yeah, first off, it's a big 22 ounce bobber, on uh, 66 centiliters, and it's on 10.5% alcohol, so it's a pretty big beer. Uh, and it's on whoa, 70 IBUs, that's a lot. But it says here, yeah, Doris the Destroyer. This extreme double oatmeal, oatmeal Russian Imperial Stout will overwhelm, satisfy and destroy your taste buds like no other. Doris is even darker, hoppier and stronger than our gold medal winning Boris the Crusher Stout. Dry hop and first wart, wart hopped with finest American hops for a great Imperial Stout experience. Enjoy the darkness. And that's it. Pretty cool little description. Uh, label is basically just the same as all Hoppin' Frog beers, just with different writing, and the frog is holding a, a stout in the glass there instead. Let's get it cracked open and poured into the, the Fuller's Snifter glass. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm probably going to sit and enjoy this the rest, the rest of the evening, because this is a big beer, I'm sure. It smells really hoppy actually, just from smelling the cap there. I might re review some more of their stuff. Uh, I recently was able to get their. Uh, wow. Uh, their Frosted Frog, which is their Christmas beer, which I had at a, a Christmas beer tasting not too long ago. And that was like a beer you either hate or love. It tasted sort of like, like Christmas, some kind of uh, spiced Christmas cake, which was, I thought it was really interesting. Um. Yeah, look at that pour. That again, it's just a pitch black pour, no light coming through, and uh, nice enough, two finger tan roasted head. Well, I, just, I can just smell the beer from here, so let's dig in, give it a, uh, a, sn a sniff. <laughs> wow, it's hoppy actually, it's actually really hoppy. A lot of like really bitter, slightly juicy hops. And there's also a lot of oats, like uh, an oatmeal type of aroma. Along with a with, uh, coffee, chocolate. There's actually a lot of chocolate. Um, slight amount of alcohol, a little bit of licorice notes, the uh, roasted malt, of course. Smells like a really big and nice imperial stout, so let's give it a taste. Now, oh man, that's just tasty. Mmm. Mmm. Now that is a nice imperial stout for you guys. By the way, the brewery is out of Akron, Ohio, just so you know. But, first sip, you get the hoppiness. There's a lot of slightly fruity, hoppy notes in here. But after that, it just comes the roast. And there's a lot of roasted malt. Along with it, you get a bit, it's quite sweet as well. You get some sweet, dark fruit, the oatmeal type flavor, almost sugary flavor. Well, the body on it, by the way, is full. It's velvety and creamy. It's nice. Um, it is really well tasting. Um, slight amount of coffee in the aftertaste. Not as much as in the aroma. Uh, there is more of a chocolatey flavor to it. Uh, in the taste, I think. And the licorice is, is there, it's just slightly even, it's, it's quite faint actually. Um, it's very sweet as well as quite sugary. Um, I like the balance of it because I don't taste the 10.5% alcohol really at all. There was a slight amount of alcoholic smell in the aroma, which was just, that was barely there, but. Wow, that's another thing, it is just smooth as motherfucking hell. You can just slug this down almost. It also completely coats your palate. Nice, sticky, almost. My mouth feels to it. This is just a 
fantastic example of a, of an imperial stout, and it's brewed with oats as well, so that just makes it even more creamy and nice, which is really nice. Um, Rating-wise for this beer, um, wow, just look at that pour, it's just black as night, man. What the fuck? Um, yeah, rating-wise for this beer, I'm gonna have to go 95 again. I mean, wow. I'm glad I saved all these great beers for last, because, wow, they're just amazing. Um, one of my friends recently went to Copenhagen, and uh, there was a beer store there called Ölpotiken, and he picked up a little few beers for me, uh, which is, I'm looking forward to get them, uh, I'm probably going to get them sometime this week, and then I will start reviewing some of them guys for you, and I'm also going to start soon uh, on reviewing the uh, Christmas beers I talked about, um, I will, I already have one from Denmark, and I'm going to be getting one more, uh, which he brought from Copenhagen, then I got one from the States as well, and I'm probably going to buy some more along the way. But it's still, it's not just going to be only Christmas beers, it's going to be a mix of, of both. But, um, yeah, a 95 for the Hoppin' Frog, Doris the Destroyer, Imperial Stout. That is just lovely, man, and I felt kind of like cold when I, before I had this. That's just gone now, which is nice. But I hope you get to check out this brew. Uh, it is just fantastic. Uh, great stuff. Uh, remember guys to check out my older videos remember to leave a comment let me know what you think of the video if you've had it subscribe as well and check out my older videos and all that stuff and I'm gonna say cheers guys and I will see you in another beer review